On with a fresh new year, you might be thinking it's a good time to start or to get back into a fitness routine. So fitness expert Zara Alibai is here to help us kickstart the habit and show us how to set ourselves up for success. Your first time in the City Line studio. Yes. Well, I've missed you. Oh, I've missed it so much. I'm so <laughs> happy to be back. It's good to have you back. And for anyone at home that's been thinking, oof, now's the time I got to start or maybe I started and I'm starting to lag. Yes. How can we start to get into the mindset of, I need to move? Yeah, for sure. So we are a few weeks into the new year, right? We all had these big goals of New Year's resolutions, right? You might have joined a gym or bought a fitness program. Yeah. And just as important as it is to have those things, have that membership, have that fitness program, it's the habits that you're going to set up into your everyday that are going to help you carry through and actually follow through and show up to those programs and that gym that you actually signed up to. Right. So it's so important to create those habits and that's how you're going to make it a lifestyle change because you're going to have the motivation some days and some days are going to be beautiful, some days are going to be gloomy like this. So you need those habits in place so it becomes automatic. It needs to yeah. be like that. When you get up early in the morning, it's dark. You're exactly. coming home from work, it's dark. You're Do you tired. really want to be yeah. sitting there negotiating what tank top you're going to put on to 100%. work out? Exactly. Absolutely not. Yeah. It's good to not be delusional. Exactly. You will have days when you don't want to do it. Yeah, exactly. And that's when those days where you lack that motivation, because motivation will only take you so far, right? Yeah. So it's those days of actually, of you know, you getting up and being like, oh, I don't have my shoes, forget it. I'm not going to do it. Well, then it's so easy. Our bodies and our brains are going to be like, okay, that one little pickup, we're not going to do it, right? It's right. going to stop us from doing it. So a few other things is really making sure you set it in your calendars. Set that yes. appointment with yourself, right? Your kids have a dentist appointment. You write it and you make sure your day revolves around it. You have an mm -hmm. important meeting at work. You make sure that you show up, right? We have to make that a priority and put those times in our calendars, in our phones, and make sure that we show up so you know when you look at your week, workout, 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 I'm not scheduling anything around and I'm going to show up. I'm not going to cancel on myself. That's right. Don't yeah. cancel on yourself. No, Those exactly. are really, really wise words there, Sarah. So yeah. you've put it in your calendar. What else do you do to make sure have, you get moving? Have a plan. It's have so plan. important, right? You can have all these big ideas, right? I want to work out every day. I'm going to do this. Break it down into the nitty gritty. What am I doing? Yeah. Am I walking with my friends two times a week? Mm -hmm. Am I going to a class? Am I doing this video that I know is set on my computer that I'm going to press play on? Because you can show up and again, you can have that motivation. You can set it in your calendar, but you get and you're like, okay, so now what am I doing? Right? <laughs> right. So exactly, know exactly what you're going to do. So yes. important. And the third thing is set yourself up. Take out all those obstacles like you said, right? You have literally, same thing. I work out in the morning. I yeah. make noise. My husband's like, what are you doing? I'm trying to sleep. I'm like, okay, so I literally have it all set up. I go as far as having my water bottle filled up, yes. having my earphones because I need to listen to something when I'm working yes. out. If my earphones are dead, I just lose that motivation. Have totally. it all set up here. So there's literally no excuse. You don't have to think about it and you know the night before this is all set up. I'm doing it. I'm going and I promise you, you do those things. It just becomes automatic. It becomes like brushing your teeth. 100%. I'm going to get exactly. up and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work out. I'm going to yeah. move or I'm going to stretch, yeah. whatever it is that is on your goal list. Exactly. So let's talk about yes. stretching and moving let's in the move. morning exactly. because we've been talking a lot in the show about how getting that morning routine off right so is a good start. Exactly. It's so important. Right? So even if all you can do is a little stretch in the morning, right. all you need is a little bit of space. This one you can even do in your pajamas. So easy, yeah. right? Yeah. So take a nice deep breath in. We're going to exhale out, so we're stretching out our back, the back of our legs. If you can, oh. walk your hands forward, hang out there. It feels good, eh? I already feel it in the hammies. <laughs> and then we're going to do a little stretch, downward dog. <sighs> and then we're going to step forward. You'll like this one. Nice big stretch. Oh, Open up that chest. Yeah. Yes, it feels so good. It feels good. And Sometimes I do this stuff at the gym, and I'm moaning, and I'm yes, like, I need to take it okay. down a notch. No, no, that's okay. It feels so <laughs> good. We'll switch legs. Beautiful. Stretch out. And it's just getting your body moving in the morning, getting your blood flowing, stretching mm. out those muscles, coming back. And then we're going to walk the hands back up. And a nice big stretch. <sighs> and then just get that blood flowing, get that heart rate up, right? I thought it's it was going to be nap up. time now, no, Sarah? <laughs> we're waking up. Keep we're moving. Up, getting okay. that heart rate up. Beautiful. Knees up, nice and high. And again, this is like pretty low impact. You can just do a light, nice little jog if you want. It you doesn't can. have to be high, high. And then we're just going to go into good old jumping jacks. These always do it. They did it in grade two. Up. They do it now. Yep. Simple. Simple and fun. Exactly. And then the last thing, we're going to do side steps. And I know your kids play hockey, doing yeah. things every day. Really important to move the body front and back and sideways. So right. just prepping up all those muscles in all different planes of directions. Right. You can just do 10 minutes here, 10 minutes, 10 minutes here. Yeah. Something is so much better than nothing, right? See, I like it yeah. so much. I'm still yeah. doing it. I know. So it's, it's all about getting a plan, everyone, and making it automatic so that you're not freaking out in the morning. It's exactly. dark out. You don't want to be figuring out where your shoes are. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Thank